All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Your host, The Raven, here, um, bringing you a playthrough of Ape Escape for the PlayStation One. Really fun game, really awesome. And let's get into the intro story and see how it all begins. Excellent graphics for his time, by the way. Top notch music. with it today. Let's go. I can't wait to check out the dinosaurs. And what about the future? Yeah, we'll keep talking because I'm going first. That's not fair. Top-notch control. Extremely fun. Hey, Professor! Spike, Jake, over here. Watch out. Spike, the time station! No, no. Run, you two. has been activated by Spectre. You're being transported back in time. You'll soon arrive in the lost land when dinosaurs roam the Earth. Spectre has sent the apes back in time to try to change the course of history. His plans for world domination have begun. And if we don't stop the apes, history will be changed forever. You're our only chance. Two of my gadget inventions, the Stun Club and the Time Net, were also caught in the transport. I want you to use them to catch the apes and send them back here. The stun club can be used to defend yourself against attackers. And when you use it on the apes, they'll be stunned. And you'll have an extra second to catch them with the time limit. There isn't time for any monkey business, Spike. Our fit is in your hands. We're depending on you. Be careful. There isn't time for any monkey business. All right. So anyway, we get uh, we got the lowdown from the professor, and we're going to the first stage. Um, that young lady, they never mention her name in the game, but she always comes out, she bows to you, and she lets you know how many monkeys you need to catch in a particular level. Um, this game is the first game to require like the analog controller for the PlayStation 1. Other games, you, you had the option of using it, and this one, you... It's demanded. It's not just um, an option. So anyway, your gadgets are tied to your um, but face buttons. Movement is controlled by the left analog stick. Attack and defense is controlled by the right analog stick. Gadgets are, you know, you switch the right the button. Also to use gadgets, that is a, that's also the right analog stick. Um, you use L2 to look around, which is very useful to see where you are, where you are and if see hidden things. Um, L1 like reorients the camera, the face behind you. Very useful if you need to like make a jump. Uh, this is an action platformer. It's really fun. It's really awesome. Um, obviously, the object is a kid. Obviously, um, the object of each game is to catch the monkeys that are present in the level, and all le uh, monkeys ultimately. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and get this Spectre coin. Um, in each stage, there's like two. There's like there's a number of Spectre coins hidden. Um, there's a total of 40 in the entire game. I don't know if there's any stage that don't have uh, Spectre coins. 
But um, anyway, we just got the one for this stage. Uh, one tip for sneaking up on monkeys is to lay down flat by depressing the left analog stick. And to go even into even further stealth mode, press while laying down, press the right analog stick, and you'll curl into a, a, a ball where the game says this is pretending that you're not there and the monkeys are fooled by that. So anyway, I love the monkeys. They're so funny. If you notice, they had those little helmets that light up. Um, no light means that they're not even paying attention. Uh, when the light's flashing, that means they're going to look around. Uh, blue means they're docile and unaware of your presence. Yellow means it, they think something's up. And red means that they're on high alert and they're going to run away and try to fight and defend themselves. Let's capture our first monkey. Bam! Uh, violence, violence is highly recommended. It's very, it's, it's funny. It's, I mean, it makes the game just really amazing. So anyway, let's, let's nab these monkeys so we can um, go on. There's some monkeys that are easy to catch. Uh, Alright, little enemy guy hit me. Um, there's some monkeys that are easy to catch. There's some monkeys that just aren't that easy to catch. Um, difficulty uh, ranges between um, the different levels. Obviously, as you get further into the game, the monkeys become more difficult. Some monkeys are protected by bigger creatures. Uh, some even have UFOs. I mean, the game is hilarious. And let's bust this one over the top of the head. Oh, I missed him. I tried to get this, the slam. If you slam them, it kind of like knocks the teeth out of their mouth. Shows like a little animation. Oh. Um, the weakest monkeys, their attacks range from running away, throwing bananas, and uh, trying to fight you physically. And they're, they're wily. They can get away on you if you're not careful. Oh, come on. I'm acting like an amateur. Alright. There we go. Uh, monkey number two in the bag. Um, also, each monkey has its own personality and bio, um, which you want to check those out after we finish this stage. As you can see, there's another monkey up here, but we're only required to capture three. <laughs> Excuse me. And also, this monkey is too high up for us to get. We need a special gadget to come back to get this um, uh, particular monkey. So there are there is backtracking in the game, but it's not very tedious. It's 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 really light. Oh, I slipped on a banana peel. All right. So first stage complete. Let's see what's going on. And one thing about this game that I never get enough of is the music. Um, the music, even in the time station, which is where we are now, um, it's just the beat is awesome. It just kicks butt. So anyway, in the time station, we have four options. Uh, if we head straight forward, that's to go back into the levels and do more monkey capturing and uh, fighting. Uh, if we head to the right, that's the gadget training room. Every time you get a new gadget, if you want to practice with it a little bit more before you go into a level, you would head in there and they have like the VR virtual reality training uh, going on in there. You will receive training for each new gadget before the level begins, but that's only if you want additional training or you just want to play around for some reason. Uh, behind us, we have where we save the game and we also have the, our monkey uh, notebook. Which we're going to head to right now. Alright, so here we have a uh, memory card, load, save, game. Also right here we have our monkey book. Let's check it out. Um, this got some really funny stuff in here. I really like the monkey book. And as you can see here, we have our first monkey, Noonan. Uh, it gives stats on the monkey, the monkey's level, its speed, its attack, how alert it is, like how easy it is to sneak up on. Um... If this alert is like maxed out, I mean, it's a, it's almost impossible to sneak up on it. Like it's gonna see you coming, it's gonna fight back. So, 
uh, you want to you want to be very careful. Like pay attention to the monkey stats. Uh, also, um, you get a little bit of dialogue, a little bit of backstory on each uh, individual monkey. And uh, apparently, Noonan has helmet hair problems. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So here we have Georgie, same uh, stats. And uh, apparently, he wants to watch wrestling. And then uh, Naughty dances to loud music. So there's our first uh, monkeys and their stats. Uh, hit return. And uh, saving your game, we're going to go into that, which is pretty straightforward. You select the memory card. I'm using an emulator, but it still works. Um, just pick save, pick an empty file. As you can see, I've been playing already. And uh, we're going to save. I mean, that's just all there is to it. All right, so now we got some of the basics out of the way. Oh, wait, I accidentally went back into it. I keep forgetting cancel. All right, there we go. Now we're back out. All right, awesome. Um, these red mailboxes, which I've avoided so far, they basically give you uh, basic tips, tech, and uh, information on how to play the game. Uh, I've beat the game like so many times before. Like these mailboxes are pretty annoying to me. But as a new player, they do sometimes have useful information. But I mean, Ape Escape isn't rocket science, you know. All right, so let's get back into it. Uh, we're gonna do another level because these these beginning levels are really short. So here we are, Prom the Lost Land Primordial Ooze. Look what I've got, a new gadget. Check it out. This is the water net. Use it when you're underwater. I equipped it with an oxygen meter. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. And I like the way he said, without training, it'll be too dangerous to continue on. So it's not dangerous enough to send a 10-year-old kid uh, back into prehistoric times to hunt down monkeys and avoid dinosaurs. So anyway, we have the first tutorial of the game, how to use the water net, which is essential to capture monkeys that are swimming in the water. Uh, I will avoid all the mailboxes because, um, you know, I, they're, they're really annoying. And that one you can't dodge. But anyway, it just tells you how to go underneath the water, which, you know, I'm demonstrating for y'all. And then the last tutorial will show us how to catch a monkey that is underwater. Always pay attention to your oxygen meter. You can die. I've died a lot of times playing this game uh, drowning. Alright, first shot. Alright, so let's get this tutorial over with and uh, head on to the next stage. I'm going to avoid those two mailboxes. Alright, awesome. Alright, once again we get the bow from the lady. And uh, we got to capture four monkeys. Awesome. And it also tells you how many Spectre Coins are in the bottom. I, didn't, I just now realized that. And I really like the music to this stage. I like the music so much that I'm going to do this. Alright, let's grab the Spectre Coin first. And me personally, I like to capture the harder monkeys first. And uh, come back for the easier monkeys. Yeah. Alright. And um, to me, difficulty ranges on how far away they are. 
or if something's protecting them like a monster or a spaceship or something. And said so these guys are pretty far away. I'm gonna grab these guys first. Bam! And he ran right into the net. Um, one thing to note is like the awesome music. If you're standing up, if you stand up, you get the full like amount of music. When you lay down you get just the basic beat which is awesome sometimes I've done this just because I want to hear the the beat the like the kind of uh, toned down version of the same song alright so we gotta find the next couple of victims BAM they ain't no match for me they can't handle me BAM Bam! Yeah, the control is awesome. I mean, it's just excellent controls in this game. So, this guy's on alert, so we just kind of dug down a little bit. But he's going to see you because you got to jump up there. Alright, so we got one more. And uh, I believe that one is... Um, I actually ran to a mailbox. Is hiding... Um, I forgot where that one's hiding. In fact, let's leave this guy, um, the guy who's sleeping right there on the top, we're going to leave him because there's another one that you need the dinosaur to get to, and uh, that one's a little bit more difficult to get, so we're going to get that guy. Oh yeah, see the guy, see the guy up there on this um, that little cliff. He's the one we're going after. We're going after him. Oh man, I missed the jump. Dang it! Oh, that sucks. And I gotta wait for the dinosaur to come back around. Hurry up! All right, let's not beat the dinosaur. I usually don't miss that jump, but like this time I hit the dinosaur's head and kind of like ricocheted off. Yeah, but see, this is what I mean by difficult monkeys. The one that you have to take like an extra step, or there's some kind of trick to getting them. I like to go after those first. Oh, I got whooped. All right, there we go. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this has been episode one of my Let's Play Ape Escape uh, playthrough. Really excited. This game is so much fun. And uh, Natalie lets us know that we did a great job. Um, yeah, that's what I would like to. I just want to go over that point one more time. Um, in each stage, there's monkeys that are right in your face. They're easy to catch. I mean, they're just they're just right there, you know. And then there's the ones that are hidden deep in the level. They're protected by like a monster. They're in a, a hard to get location or some other kind of trick or trap to catching them. And I like to go after those first because in order to get 100% complete, which we're going to go through for this playthrough, um, which is what we're going to go for for this playthrough is 100% uh, complete. Um, you will have to backtrack to certain levels. And it saves, it makes it easier on you to get the hard, the hardest monkeys you can first. Then go back and nab the monkeys that are right in your face that are really easy to get. So anyway, I'm your host, The Raven. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned for part two where we take on more of the prehistoric lands um, with our 10-year-old uh, monkey catcher extraordinaire Spike. Um, I appreciate y'all watching. I want y'all to have as much fun watching this series as I am playing it and uh, bringing it to y'all. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, have a good day.